Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Excel Learning Series. In today's video, we will learn how to save a workbook. You might experience difficulties while working sometimes when a computer crashes down or your application crashes down and you might lose your work. So in order to save yourself from that kind of mishaps, you need to save your work pre-handed. So keep saving your work all the time. There is a shortcut control S that will save your work in Excel. Now to save this workbook, you just got to go to file tab on the top left. Here in the backstage view, select save as. After selecting that option, you will notice you have options to save your workbook online on the cloud or offline on your computer. For now, we will focus on offline options and may talk about saving on cloud later in the course. On the right side of this panel, you will notice there are few folders. These are the folders where you have saved your work recently. If you do not have your desired folder on this list, click on the browse button. Once you click on the browse button, you will see save as window. Give a desired name for your Excel workbook and select your desired folder and then click on save. This will help you save your workbook. By default, Excel will save the workbook in Excel SX format. That's the latest Excel format. This has been introduced since the 2007 version of Excel. Prior to that, till 2003, there was Excel S format. If you're trying to share this workbook with somebody who is using Excel, 2003 and older versions you would want to consider saving your workbook in Excel 97 to 2003 option. If you do that you might lose some of the formattings and features of your latest Excel and you can also save your workbook in PDF or XPS format. These are the read-only formats. This way you will have a chance to share your Excel workbook or the parts of your workbook with someone you desire to share it with. For example, if I select Excel 97 to 2003 and click on save, you will notice I have a pop-up on the screen that talks about the compatibility. It says that there are minor loss of fidelity from the current version to the past versions. There are a few things that might not function as desired. If you are OK with it, click on the Continue button or just click on the Cancel button. I am going to click on the Cancel button. Click on Cancel again. Let us try saving this workbook in a PDF format. On the top left, I click on the File tab. I go to the Backstage view. Now I will select Save As. Under Save As, I will click on Browse option. Here. I will click on the Save As drop-down, Save As Type drop-down and select PDF from the list. Give a name to your workbook. Click on Save. Now it will save your workbook in a PDF format and will open that PDF on your screen. You can quickly take a look at the PDF, ensure that everything is uh, as desired. Close the PDF. This is how you save your Excel workbook. In case if you have any doubts or questions, do not hesitate to write a comment in the section below. And as always, subscribe and keep coming back to continue your Excel learning with Sayed. Have a beautiful day and thank you for watching this video.